Hey you guys, I am back with a review like I promised for the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, the 24 hour apparently no shine, no imperfections, no transfer and can I please just say that I'm so excited to be making this video because I am obsessed with this foundation and I never fall in love with a lot of foundations because I really struggle with finding my exact skin tone I struggle with finding something for my very oily skin so this foundation is amazing because it has exceeded my expectations okay so I'm just gonna go through what I love about this product okay shout out to L'Oreal for catering to women of color this is amazing okay firstly this foundation is a very liquidy substance so i use about one and a half pump which it doesn't have extremely full coverage but it is buildable to have full coverage so i'd say it's medium to full coverage um, my one and a half pump i'm quite happy with the coverage that i do have and i feel that it is long lasting because i'm never someone who judges a foundation after i put it on i judge it when i'm going to shower last night when i went to go take my shower i actually didn't want to take off my makeup because i looked in the mirror and i was just like oh my gosh my makeup looks so amazing my foundation looks so great it still looked flawless it wasn't matte still but it wasn't oily it had a nice dewy finish like it was um light was reflecting off the right places if i should put it that way and also another thing that i really do love about the foundation is the fact that it is foldable okay sometimes you don't always want to be cakey you want to be able to adjust how flawless your makeup looks what else do i love about this foundation i love that it's hydrating at the same time foundation the fact that it has a pump so there isn't a lot of wastage unlike some foundations where you have to pour the product onto your hand and if you pour out too much then it's over I am the color 330 something hazel you can even see and yeah also I do recommend that you apply the foundation with a stippling brush rather than beauty blender being that it is such a liquidy substance you don't want to waste it by letting your sponge absorb um, the product what else yeah I just love that it doesn't go ashy and it's just such an amazing product I really do love I think I'm gonna be using this foundation for a very long time I've never been happy with can I please actually tell you that I've never used one foundation my whole life ever since I started wearing makeup I always has have to mix two or three foundations before I came across this one I used to mix three different foundations to get my skin tone I mixed black opal and two different shades of MAC face and body black opal was for coverage and then the face and bodies were for correcting the color so and then before that I I tried to use Revlon color stay but it made me look too orange so I used to make mix it with the MAC and which other foundations have I used um, I've used MAC only but I always used to mix different types of MAC foundations for example I used Pro, Pro Long Wear face and body so I was never ever fully happy with my foundation and this I didn't have to mix this with anything the only thing I used is my concealer from LA Girl and then my MAC um, concealer palette to contour so a big ups full marks to L'Oreal for developing this product this is amazing and can you please cater to women of color more often especially with your true match, true match foundation the other day when i went to disc i couldn't there were literally no ethnic colors it was only caucasian so i really do think more brands need to cater um to women of color because you guys can do it you actually do formulate good products when you make the effort so yeah i'm very happy with this foundation as you can see i'm like all smiles on this video uh i hope you guys like my review actually let me just show you the consistency So yeah, as you can see, it's very liquidy. It's a very liquidy um, substance. And also, I'd just like to apologize <laughs> for you guys who all attack me in comments because I'm also the type of person who knows this is with a lot of um, people on YouTube. I'd like to apologize for my ratchet nails. Okay, I'm in the process of moving, so I haven't had any time to go to the nail salon and get my nails done. But trust me, by next week, my nails will be dead and they will be flaking. So the next video I do, I will make sure I show you guys my beautiful nails. 
yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this video and tuning into my channel 